Hello and welcome back to the Coder's Legacy channel. In this video, we'll be continuing off with our SymPy tutorial series. In the last video, we discussed differentiation in SymPy. This time, we'll discuss integration. All right, integration is going to be a bit trickier than differentiation because there are a few more things to consider, uh, such as limits, for example, because in integration, you can just integrate an expression normally, but then you can also integrate an expression with limits. Okay, so we'll take a look at both of those here today. Otherwise, there isn't really much to discuss. SymPy handles 90% of the work for us. We just need to use the function, pass in the right parameters, and we're done. All right, so without further ado, let's begin. Okay, I'll import SymPy, or more like import what we need from SymPy, because it has a lot of stuff in it. So what I'll import is symbols. Then I'll import the integrate function, and that should be good for now. We'll go ahead and import cost and sign as well because I'll be using these to integrate them, okay? I want to integrate some trigonometric functions in front of you guys just to show you how it's being done. If you're interested in seeing more about trigonometry in SymPy, then do check out my next video, all right? It'll be linked in the description below when it comes out. Otherwise, do subscribe to the channel so you stay notified, but it's gonna be containing everything in SymPy regarding trigonometric functions, how to simplify them, differentiation, integration, degrees, radians, all that stuff. So let's make a few expressions now and we'll focus on integrating them and seeing what the output looks like and how to integrate them in various manners. So I'll first define our symbols and then I'll create our expression one, which can be something very, very simple like two X. Then we'll make expression two, which is a bit more complicated, something like X to the power two minus X minus six then something like x plus y, then something like um, something a bit intuitive. Maybe something like this for x, all right, that. Okay, we'll have fun integrating that. And a bunch of trigonometric identities as well, trigonometric functions. We'll do cos, we'll do uh, sine, and you know what, let's throw in an exponent as well, because why not? Okay, exponent. All right, so expression seven can be exponent x. All right, oh, and let's just make it two x, two, two exponent x. All right, so now we have seven expressions, let's integrate them. So I'll start off with the first one. We'll just print these out, expression one, and I'm gonna call the integrate method on it. Wait, hold on, sorry, wrong way. Um, integrate like this. Okay, so the first parameter is gonna be the expression that you want to integrate. The second parameter is gonna be that symbol. Okay, the symbol that you want to integrate with respect to. Okay, in this case, what do we, what do we want to do? We want to integrate with res respect to x. Okay, so we'll pass an x. And I just noticed that that's a capital X. So I'll just make that a small x. And let's run this code. Okay, let me just make this a bit smaller. All right. And why is that up there? I think VS Code automatically put that in. Okay, so down there we can see x to the power two. All right, x squared. And of course, because if you take two x and you integrate it, that gives us x squared. All right, that's good. We can verify that, we know it's working. Let's try it on something a bit more complicated. Let's try it on expression two, and this will give us a larger expression, all right? And by the way, if you want this to look better, if you want the output to look a little pretty, then just use the pretty print function, okay? And this will make it all look nice, because when you're differentiating and integrating, things can get pretty messy, okay? So this will make it like this, okay? Which is, I think, much better when it comes to uh, trying to see long chains, okay? Because when you make long expressions, you end up with very long chains like this, especially when later on we talk about stuff like Newton's method and Taylor series, because I plan to cover those in SymPy. So those can get pretty complicated and almost impossible to read without a function like this, okay? Anyways, so let's try this with expression three, okay? And you, this is no problem, okay? You can use uh, this method you can integrate expression three with respect to x, even though there's a y in there. Okay, that's basic. That's you know basic integration rules. 
And if I do that, you'll notice that it's integrating correctly. Y is being treated as a constant, and that's why an X appeared over there. So it's like, uh, you know, if there's a five, then you integrate it and it becomes five X. So it's the same thing being applied over there. Basic rules, okay, you can also differentiate this, sorry, integrate this with respect to Y, and that'll give us a similar result, just the reverse. Okay, yeah. So expression four. And yeah, this is where I want to start expanding on the integration concept. Like how can we integrate several times? Okay, because sometimes you want to integrate twice or integrate thrice. And it can look a bit bad if you're just gonna call the function three times. Like you take the result of one integration function then pass it into the other, then take the result of that one and pass it into another integration function that can look a bit bad. So just do this instead, x, 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 okay? And this will actually just do it twice first. So this will integrate expression four two times. Okay, see that? So that was four x squared. And yeah, that makes sense. That's correct. Okay, so let's try that one more time. This should give us, yeah. Is that correct? Yes, five multiplied by three, that gives us 15 down there. Yes, it's valid. Great. Well, now let's try the trigonometric functions, okay? So I'm gonna try integrating cos x by x, or with respect to x, and this should give us uh, sine x, yeah. Now, if I try doing that with sine x, this should give us minus cos x. Yeah, great. Okay, so let's try this with, ex with expression seven. And what should this give us? This is two. Okay, you know what, Never mind. let's try this. Okay, let's try integrating this. I mentioned earlier that integrating exponent x wouldn't really give us anything, but exponent two x will give us exponent two x upon two. So let's see whether we get that output or not. And we do. There's that little E over there. Great. So that's most of our content covered. There's just one thing I want to take a look at now, and that's limits. Okay, let's take a look at how to integrate with respect to limits. Okay, so for our limits example, I want to do this. Okay, I want to apply limits on exponent x. I'll just take you guys over to my website for a second, because there's just something I want to show you. I want to show you this diagram over here, this image. This is what we'll basically be integrating. The upper bound will be infinity, the lower will be zero, okay? And we'll be integrating exponent minus x. Okay, let me just put a minus in there, all right? Uh, so what I wanna do here is apply the limits infinity and zero. Now, the first question arises, how do I show infinity in SimPy? Well, luckily there is a very easy way of doing so. You don't even need to import anything. It's just double O. Okay, let me show you. All right, so the first parameter remains the same. We don't touch that. We're still using the integrate function, okay? We aren't using anything else. The integrate function itself has this ability to use limits, okay? All we need to do is modify the second parameter a bit, okay? I'll make this a tuple, okay? Let's just leave some space there. And this tuple contains a bunch of values, okay? It'll contain x, okay? Because x is what we're applying the limit on. X is, you know, uh, zero and infinity. So I'm gonna put zero here because that's the lower, yeah, that's the lower bound. And the upper bound is gonna be infinity, right? So how do I do that? Double O, okay? There, that's it. We just applied limits. And why isn't it recognizing it? I'm not sure. Hold on, let's try running this. Okay, not defined. Okay, so it turns out I was wrong about the fact that you don't need to import anything. Apparently you do, and it's double O. Okay, uh, I'm not sure how I missed that the first time. Maybe I was importing, you know, all, so I didn't notice. Okay, so this should work, and it'll give us one. And you can verify this online, any integration calculator. You can verify it, and this is gonna be the answer. Okay, and you can try this out yourself. Try it out on different uh, functions and see what the answer is. Okay, you can verify it's all correct, use it to solve your homework, 
and trust me it's going to be very easy okay make your own program make it that it can accept different expressions from you as a string convert that to a simpy expression and then yeah solve it automatically okay and speaking of which we'll make a video on converting uh, strings to SymPy expressions, okay? So do subscribe to the channel, okay? In the next one, we'll be talking about trigonometric functions. We'll make one on matrices in SymPy. Matrices are a really big deal in mathematics, so I'm sure you guys will want to uh, know how to use those in SymPy because it's very, very easy. And yeah, so that's about it. I hope to see you guys in a later video. Bye then.